you are very welcome. Welcome, Retro Gamers. Um, this is now my second time attempting to record some gameplay and stream at the same time. Um, I might not have recorded my own commentary uh, on the previous uh, attempt, on the first attempt, so I've never done this before. I've got some kit um, set up here, so it's a bit of a test. And um, I've got the Jaguar out to try this um, for the first time. And uh, taking a look at uh, Sensible Soccer. So um, this is the International Edition, International Sensible Soccer. It's got Rude Hullet from probably Italian 90 uh, on there, you know, with the dreads. Um, even though this was released, uh, published in 1995, this is the version I think that uh, came out in 92, 93 on the Amiga, probably the ST. Um, so even though it's 95, the Saturn's out, the PlayStation's out, the Amiga's on its last legs. Um, this is uh, this is the Jag release, um, so it's slightly dated for the time. Um, but anyway, I love the Jaguar for a lot of familiar titles from the Amiga, you know, like Sensible Soccer, Zool, Syndicate, um, is it Humans? I'm looking at the title uh, up there. Um, there are some uh, cannon fodder. Uh, there are a number of familiar titles which I think do pretty pretty decent uh, on the Jag. So that's why I've chosen this machine uh, to have the first attempt. So let's play a game, see what happens. So I've played a few games already. I have to say I find it exceptionally um, difficult to score in this version for some reason. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm not sure why that is. Um, but uh, yeah, let's set up a friendly. Uh, it's January already, let's choose some teams. I shall be a decent team to give myself, give myself half a chance. So I'll be Brazil, I'll play a smaller team, let's play Malta. So forgive me if uh, I'm insinuating that Malta are a smaller team than Brazil. They'll probably still beat me, because um, I find this exceptionally hard to score in. Um, so that looks like the Super Nintendo Mega Drive sort of introduction thing there, because I don't remember that on the Amiga. And uh, let's have a go and see what happens, shall we? Oh. Okay. And we're off. So the mighty Brazil are taking on the might of Malta. And already Malta have the first chance for the game. So as I, said, I've, I mean, this port, it's fluid, it runs quick, but I, I find it so hard to score. In fact, I don't really recall ever scoring in this in the few times that I've played the Jag version. I must admit, I've not had my Jag uh, set up for some time. I've owned this machine for probably about 15 years. Got it in the late 2000s, maybe early 2000s, mid, you know, well, anyway. Um, oh, bloody hell, thought I had a chance there. Um, but I've played it a couple of times uh, today, just to see if I could get this streaming and uh, I failed miserably to score. So I don't know whether that's the controller, the conversion, uh, or my own ability, which it could well be. Um, I mean, I'm not brilliant at Sensible Soccer, um, but I don't think I was terrible either. Um, I played the Xbox 360 arcade version and took that online and I did get absolutely battered. Um, so maybe I'm not very good. But, you know, I could score the odd goal. On the Amiga, but on the Amiga you would use a joystick and maybe you know you'd have a slightly more control. Uh, some people don't like the Jaguar pad. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I find it okay. You know, I like the keypad. Um, you know, for some other games where you get some you know extra menu shortcuts, which can be better than a you know like a free button controller. Nearly. Okay, it's half time. Still haven't scored. It's a tricky game. <laughs> Particularly when you're playing the Might of Malta. Come on, ref. There's got to be a booking. Very good. Alright, let's punt it up front. I'd love to score. It's always good to score in every football game that you try. You know, when you're going through all your ROMs and things, you know, sometimes it's nice just to just try a game and try and score. Oh. 
man. It must be me. <laughs> So yeah, I know the drag didn't, you know, it wasn't a commercial success, but uh, you know, there's, I think there's some decent titles there. Alien vs Predator, uh, I enjoy a fair bit. Uh, Tempest, uh, it's pretty good. As I say, all the Amiga titles that made, you know, that kind of 16-bit era that made its way over there. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of time for the drag, and I'm glad I've got it in my collection. And I am playing on a real machine here. Um, oh, I scored. That's Fantastic. Yes. Put one past. Put one past the might of Latvia. Uh, Malta, sorry. That's the uh, first goal I've scored uh, today. I've lost to uh, some other crappy teams while trying to set this up earlier uh, with my first attempt at recording a stream. Um, so at least I. Oh! I scored again! They're just flying in! Oh, that was quite a tidy finish. I think maybe I'm getting the rhythm. Oh, oh, I'm starting to try and ping it around showboat here. I'm starting to get cocky. So, um, oh. So I'm feeling a lot happier with this now. Um, so yeah, I don't know if uh, any of you out there have got, got a Jag or played with a Jag. I remember my first experience of it was at Rumbelows. Uh, if you remember Rumbelows, the rental place in the uh, you know early 90s. When did the Jag come out? 94, 93, 93 maybe. Uh, I remember having a go on the demo unit and playing Alien vs Predator. I thought that was breathtaking at the time. I mean, you know, particularly when you've been playing on an Amiga and then you've got that sort of 3D world. Um, so I really wanted one. Uh, and then the Jag just sort of disappeared and I went down the Sega Saturn route um, well I've won I've scored two goals by Bebeto so uh, I'm happy with that um, well anyway that was a little test stream um, with the Jaguar good bit of fun uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching